Hey guys, I'm often asked about the effectiveness of a 20 gauge shotgun versus a 12 gauge shotgun. And I'm gonna let you in on a couple little secrets here. First, let's look at the overall use of a shotgun. In many cases, it's going to be used for hunting. And because most people gravitate and eventually become a 12 gauge shotgun user, sometimes bridging that gap it's easier to get that 12 gauge and introduce that person to the 12 gauge let them get used to it and they simply grow into it that's what some people look at obviously it becomes a cost issue um, if you don't have the money to be upgrading each time your your son or daughter are growing into that shotgun well in many cases you simply get a 12 gauge that they again grow into but a 12 gauge is it's a lot it, it packs a big punch a 12 gauge obviously is a 12 gauge for a reason. It's reaching out farther. It's bringing down larger game at larger distances. Well, if you're shooting at a deer, yes, you're going to be at a, at a disadvantage using a 20 gauge simply because you have that long distance out there that you're trying to reach. That 12 gauge, gauge is gonna be way more effective because it's packing a bigger punch, usually getting more feet per second, a bigger hunk of lead, and it's flying farther. It's gonna drop that animal a little bit more effective than say a 20 gauge is. But if we're talking about your standard, normal, personal defense distance of seven yards, 21 feet, you're not getting that much more of an advantage, if any, out of a 12 gauge. In fact, I find that there are way more advantages to a 20 gauge. Let me explain. The overall weight of a 20 gauge. Your 20 gauge is gonna be way easier to use. The size of it is a little bit smaller, so you're gonna get a little bit better of a grip on it. And anybody will get a better grip, smaller people, women, uh, children obviously so it's going to be a little bit more of an across the board platform that pretty much anybody in the family can utilize in a home defense situation the weight of the rounds obviously a smaller round in a 20 gauge is going to be a little bit easier with a full magazine than a 12 gauge is going to be speed at seven yards okay i've got two different types of ammunition right here by the same manufacturer monarch and i did purchase all of this stuff by the way the guns you see in this video and the ammunition are all purchased by me I'm dealing with a 20 gauge round here, a two and three quarter inch round, uh, seven, excuse me, eight shot, and it's traveling at 1300 feet per second, where my 12 gauge round is also a two and three quarter inch round, eight shot as well, traveling at 1350 feet per second. A 50 feet per second difference between a 20 gauge and a 12 gauge at seven yards, 21 feet, we're looking at the 1,350 feet per second 12 gauge reaching its target at 21 feet and 0 .001 of a second quicker than that 20 gauge. So are you really gaining anything? Yes, you're probably thinking the pattern. Is the pattern really that much of a difference at seven yards? If you look here, the difference between a 12 gauge and a 20 yards, the overall spread and the tightness of it are pretty much the same. Handling felt recoil you're definitely going to see a difference. Now, if you're trying to put a slug in a 20 gauge and a slug in a 12 gauge, in many cases, the smaller, lighter gun is going to, just because of physics here, going to give you a little bit more of a wallet pushing it back against you. But all things being equal and basically shooting the same ammo out of many cases, you're going to find the guns are almost the same size in a 20 gauge, a little bit less material, but for the most part, a lot of the same sizes. You're going to find that you're control of that recoil is going to be a little bit simpler and easier to manage in that 20 gauge. One definite advantage in terms of your 20 gauge is certainly going to be in price. You're going to find your 20 gauges selling at a, at a cheaper price than you would on your 12 gauges. Now the biggest disadvantage that I see in a 20 gauge versus a 12 gauge is simply going to be options. There's a lot less options out there for retrofitting aftermarket uh, or even the actual stock gun itself. Like you're going to find many of these 12 gauge, or excuse me, 20 gauges are going to be relatively stripped down, not a whole lot of tactical options involved, where the sky is kind of the limit when it comes to a 12 gauge. 12 gauge, you're going to have tons of things. Many will be come off the shelf looking just like this with all the aftermarket stuff already uh, placed on it, or the aftermarket option, for, especially for a Remington 870 like this, that aftermarket market is ripe with options for something like this. This thing here looked nothing like this whenever I originally bought it. It's got ergo grips on it, all kinds of other cool accessories that definitely tacticalize it, if that is in fact a word. Whereas your 20 gauge guys, well, you're gonna be somewhat limited. But don't let that fool you. You're not trying to impress anybody with Instagram posts whenever you're trying to defend your home. This gun right here is just as effective as this pretty looking sexy tactical gun over here. 
So again, what we're trying to do is look at usefulness. I see that 20 gauges are just fine when it comes to home defense. Don't be fooled by the fact that you're using a somewhat, let's call it lighter round whenever you're defending your home. Now, in future videos, you're gonna see me using some of these 20 gauges. What I've done is I've taken this, this is also a Remington 870 in 20 gauge. I've taken this 870 and I've ordered some things from Optics Planet. Again, comes out of my bank account. Nobody's giving that to me. I have no affiliation with Optics Planet. Just happened to like using those guys. So I bought some accessories to show you guys that there are some cool accessories that you can in fact use for your 20 gauge to give it more of a tactical useful feel whenever you're using it for home defense or just whatever you're using it for. Maybe it's a bug out shotgun for that matter. So definitely don't overlook the 20 gauge in terms of its usefulness for home defense. These guys are very effective, but you might be surprised at how easy they are to use. Guys, as I always say, never be afraid to be the safest person in the room and the deadliest.